So hello everybody, it is Friday, so it's time for another DAX Fridays, a new DAX function every single Friday, okay? So in today's DAX Fridays, we are going to continue with the statistical functions and uh, in this case, we're actually going to talk about correlation. There is no function for correlation, you have to calculate it manually, but I'm going to show you how to do it and I'm going to show you what correlation is and what you need, what you can use it for and why is it useful, okay? so. Correlation and linear regression are very, very tied together. So I really recommend you to see the previous DAX Fridays video. I'm going to summarize it here, but just go there and check it, okay, in case you get doubts. So when we talk about linear regression, it was a model that allows us to predict one variable based on the value of another one. And in the example that I put, I actually show you uh, the number of views on my YouTube channel and the number of subscribers. And we could see when we plotted in a scatter plot that there was a line that explained, you know, where most of the points were tied to or very close to. And if we would actually figure out the equation of that line, which is in here, we could actually predict future values. How cool is that? So we created a parameter here for the number of views. And we could actually pick a value in there. Let's say that we pick here 9,000. And because our data points follow a line, we could actually go up here, understand, okay, <laughs> my line is a little bit up, but you know, if we would have the follow the line there, you will get the number of subscribers here. So we could go back and say, okay, this is like 70 subscribers or 75 subscribers if I would get 9,000 views. So based on number of views, I can predict the number of subscribers. That is a linear regression, if it follows a line, okay? You calculate the line, I'll show you how to do that on the previous video, and you're good to go. Now, what is correlation useful for? Well, correlation allows you to do two things. It tells us how strong the relationship is between those two variables, and it tells us the direction of the relationship, okay? So two things. Let's take it out. Uh, let me remove the pen. We go up here and correlation tell us how well the relation, the regression line explains our data. There are two things that you normally calculate. You calculate R, which is the coefficient of correlation and then you calculate R2 which is the coefficient of determination. Don't worry I'll explain everything. Okay so R. R tells us two things as I mentioned. It tells us how strong the relationship is between those two variables and let me pick it up and that is based on the number that we get in here. So value ranges from minus one to one in that. So you will get any value in there. And this is zero. If R is equal to zero, it means that there is no relationship at all. And you will see points everywhere. You will not see a pattern. You will not be able to fit this by any line. It will be just random points everywhere. But the closer to the line, to the one or the minus one, you get the stronger the relationship is between the two variables. Look at that. We got a 0 0.93 R value for this, which means there is strong, strong, strong relationship between number of views and number of subscribers, which we knew that, right? You know that a channel with a lot of views often have a lot of subscribers too. So it tells us how strong the relationship. By calculating R, we know now that it is a very, very strong relationship. How to calculate R? You're going to get this file on Kerbal.com Community Download Stack Fridays. But it is calculated like that. So here you have the formula. And here you have the explanation in case you just download and just gonna grab it. So it is between minus one and one. The closer to one, the closer the, you know, the relationship between two variables can be explained by each other. And if it's minus one, so the, uh, the sign of the correlation value, the sign of R, let me delete that. So, and put that away. 
So here we have it. So the higher the number, the higher the strength. But then if it is positive or if it's negative. So if it's positive, it goes like that. Which basically says that the higher the value that value is, the higher that value that will be. So increasing views will increase subscribers. That means that it's a positive correlation. And the number will be from zero to one, somewhere in there, a positive correlation. Now, if the value is, let's say that that was minus 0 0.92, it means that the line goes the opposite way. So it means the bigger the x, the smaller the y. So let's say that I had here number of dislikes and then subscribers. So you would probably see that the higher the number that describe, so probably not, because, but, but there's another, that's YouTube science, that's another thing. But let's say the number of cigarettes you smoke, the lower your lung health will be. Okay, so there is a negative correlation. X increases, Y decreases. Okay, so it will tell us those two things were very, very important. And then we have R squared in there. So R squared is goes from zero to one, and it tells us the percentage of the data that is closest to our feed line. Okay, so just let me show you. So this is our feed line, oh, just there. So this is our feed line, the black one, now it's blue. So the percentage of the points that are close to the feed line is what this number is telling us. So it's telling us that oh, 86 percent of the points are very 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 close to our feed line which means that the relationship is very strong and one uh, variable predicts the other with significance okay so that's basically what they mean and r2 it is calculated i mean it's just normal math so there's no idea that i just sit here and do the calculations but it's the square of r and the value goes from zero to one. So the higher the value, the more points that can be explained by your line. So basically correlation, it gives us more information about our regression line and if it is a good fit or not, and if it's positive or negative, or if it's strong or not, okay? So one more thing, how, you know, you've seen probably those correlation plots somewhere. So Microsoft has a correlation plot, which is basically an R visualization. You can go here, get it now, continue. And you can download the visual and add it. Obviously, you can add it directly from uh, Power BI, but you can see it here. But the, th the neat thing about coming here is there is a sample. So you can go here and download the sample. I'm going to show you the sample that they have, which is this one. That's the one that you can download from the visuals. And what they have here is um, segment, so the company type, and then they have sales, gross sales, discounts, and profit. And they've created a correlation plot. So they're trying to understand if, for example, the example that they have here, if giving discounts will affect profit, okay? Now, first of all, what is this? Is this the coefficient of correlation or if it's of determination? I'm going to give you a second. Pause the video and then you come back and see if you figure it out. So you know that it's the coefficient of correlation because it goes from 1 to minus 1. If you would go from 0 to 1, you'll know that there is the coefficient of determination. But this is the coefficient of correlation. So it tells you here that you've done a really good job explaining this. And it is select the government, they say, in the chart visual, and then look at the correlation. And what you will see is, for example, they say, look at discount and profit. So discount, let me... So you said, look at discount and profit for government. It is in there. So it is 
zero point six R. Okay, so given this count, you get more profit. Awesome. And then it says, well, now I thought it was actually going to be like, is it really true? You know, discounts are often not a good thing. But it says, okay, now go to enterprise and look at the correlation. And there, that's where you will see that it will actually hurt your profits to give a discount. Okay, so. The value of one will allow you to predict the value of the other one and correlation will tell you how strong that value is and this is negative the more discounts you have the less profits you get okay so this is a great example now i don't really like the uh, chart i would probably but that's another thing it is there for you to, to use and now you know how to use it you will see that the middle line is 111 because it is uh, it is the correlation between sales and sales and so I, I would rather not show the middle line but I guess it, you can show it if that part will go away so you only show the part up there uh, I think it will make the chart a little bit more readable it's quite hard to read otherwise this is how it works. So now you know how correlation works. Make sure you use it. Let me know if you use it somewhere and you think that, hey, that was great. So it is all for today. I hope you're enjoying your holidays. Uh, I'll see you again on Monday again. If you're seeing this video, it means that it's August. And I'm finishing my vacation. Okay, either way, have a great vacation. I'll see you again on Monday. Take care. Bye-bye.